the new redesigned report center, which is in QuickBooks Labs as of November of 2017. So I want to test it out, give you my first impression. So I'm going to click on the gear menu and then I'm going to click where it says QuickBooks Labs. Okay. QuickBooks Labs is the place where all the experiments that the developers of QuickBooks Online make uh, in order to uh, you know, test out to see who likes it and what kind of feedback they get before they make it out um, into the public. So I'm going to click on this little checkbox there that says on and I'm going to turn on this feature. It's called easier to navigate reports. I just call it updated or redesigned sports uh, reports page. So I'm going to click on done. And then I'm going to click on the reports tab on the left hand side. And then what you're going to see is pretty much a complete facelift of the reports menu. Before the reports menu um, had uh, all the reports listed in the bottom. I, I'm, I wasn't a big fan of how it was uh, before and I'm kind of excited. It's the first time I see it ever. So let me give you, let me see what, what are the first impressions I see. The first thing I see is I notice there's a little triangle here. So I assume I can collapse these. So I love that. A any point in time that I can collapse things, open and close them, I like that because that allows me to kind of, for me to customize my own experience when it comes to reports. So right off the bat, I love that. Now, so let me open up favorites. So it looks like I can add little stars to reports and make it my favorite. What happens if I click on that star and I make it unfavorite, it goes away. Okay, I like it. Let's see, let me go down to what you owe and let's take a look at unpaid bills. And there's a little question mark. What is that question mark? Okay, a little explanation of the report. Love that. And if I click on it itself, I assume it goes to the report. Okay, so that's completely logical, completely expected QuickBooks Online behavior. Let me go back to this piece of the report as well. Because what I want to do is I want to favorite it. So I'm going to go down to my, oh, oh, I noticed that all my reports uh, expanded. So I don't like that. I don't like the fact that if I leave and if I come back, everything I expanded, I mean that I collapse, gets expanded again. So I would love for those collapse and expand to be a sticky products that, that, that in my opinion would be better. So let me go that look let me. Okay, there it is on paid bills. So I'm going to click on the star on this one. I'm going to star it. So now it shows up with the green star. Okay, I like that. And then it automatically comes in under under favorites. Okay, that's totally logical. I love that. Now let's take a look at what happens when you click on the three little dots. So you get a button that says customize what happens in the next one a button that says customize okay um let me click there and customize so basically open up the the report run it like normal and then i assume the customization tab will come in on the right hand side okay that's that makes total sense so it basically saves me the step of pulling the report and then clicking on customize okay uh perfect let me go back to the report list again let me see what else it's in here for us to check out custom reports it's the same exact list of custom reports as before. So if I were to pull a balance sheet and then let's say I were to customize it and then I were to save it. So I'm going to click on save customization on the top right and then call it balance sheet two. And then I would um, just save it there. Click on save. And then I go back into my report list. It should be under my custom reports tab. There it is. Okay. So that's great. That hasn't changed that's the same behavior as before when i click on management reports it works the exact same same way as before so it looks like what they added that's just most most neat about it is the ability to collapse or expand these menus but it looks like if i click on something and then i go back to it the collapse and expand doesn't save so it's just collapsing and expanding for that moment which to me mm, not so much. I think, um, let me click on reports again. I think that, that 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 option of collapsing and expanding should save. I think that that makes more sense to me. And then when I click on these three little dots, it says customize. That that feels a little anticlimactic. I think, I think I would have preferred those three little dots to do something else like email a report or create a PDF or, or save the customization. I don't know. Or create a bookmark, I don't know, but just customize, eh, that doesn't seem like, uh, it, it seems like they wanted to do something else with it, but that's what they have thus far. And let's see 
when you click on go to report let me do a profit and loss detail so I'll type detail and that's the same behavior as before you search it and then you can click on your report so that's it that's my first impressions with uh, the new redesigned report page now just to give you some context let me turn off this feature and then click on click on done yes I like to turn that off feedback up oh, I'll add some feedback so make the collapse expand sticky okay hopefully that feedback goes to someone oh man uh, collapse expand four question marks make it more serious okay we'll close that and then we'll click on done and that's it that's turned off so now we can see it in contrast just in case you hadn't seen this before I want to click on reports so we can see what that looks like or from before so I'm gonna click on reports and that's still loading there it is so the way the reports looked before they were all sort of laid out in the bottom but you have to go into each category like you have to click on all reports and then you have to click on review sales I mean uh, this to me is clunky believe it or not although the there's more information to me that's way clunky I actually love the new design I love where they're going with it I hope that they add some improvements to that and hopefully they'll add some more custom report capabilities but that's a whole another ball game that's it for now hope you enjoyed if you think you like that feature add it in the comments below hit like and tell me what else you would like to see in it what are your first impressions we'd love to see what kind of feedback you should be giving into it and i'll give it to into it as well thank you until the next one